Here in Genesis chapter 43, we encounter once again this amazing character named Joseph. There's a famine that's impacting the known world at the time. And Joseph's biological brothers, well, they're not untouched by the famine. Once again, they come back to Egypt to buy grain. But they know and they even tell their father here in Genesis chapter 43 that they could not come back without their younger brother, Benjamin. That was part of the deal the last time they saw Joseph. And to their amazement, Joseph does something. He invites them to a banquet. But also after he sees Benjamin for the first time and is emotionally impacted, look at what he does. It's found in verse 33. Joseph told each of his brothers where to sit, and to their amazement, he seated them according to age, from oldest to youngest. And Joseph filled their plates with food from his own table, giving Benjamin, the youngest brother, five times as much as he gave the others. So they feasted and drank freely with him. Here's what I find interesting about this chapter. We don't know all of the reasons why Joseph was putting his brothers through these tests. But did you catch something in that last verse of chapter 43? Joseph gave favor to the younger brother. He gave him five times more of the food than any other brother received. Why did he do this? The scripture doesn't tell us. But let me give you a, a speculation, an NIV, Neil's interesting version. You see, there was a time in Joseph's life where he was the youngest brother. He was favored amongst all the others. And the brothers, when they saw the favor on their younger brother, well, their hearts were impacted in a way of jealous, envy, strife, and anger. It's possible that Joseph wanted to see if his brothers, these men, had changed at all throughout the course of their lives. If instead of being jealous with their younger brother, they'd be gracious. You know, we'll never know. We'll have to ask Joe that question when we get to heaven and we see him one day. But it reminds me of this truth. Oftentimes in life, God brings opportunities, tests, lessons into our life where we are given the opportunity to respond faithfully to God and graciously to others. And sometimes, because we're human, we don't always pass that test. See, there may be a circumstance, a situation, a relationship in your life where you look back and say, you know, I think I could have acted differently, more kindly, more gracious, more godly. Here's one thing I know about God. God is faithful. God is gracious. And if we fail to pass a test in the past, oftentimes he may give us an opportunity in a new season, a new relationship, a new opportunity to be gracious, to be godly, to be kind. It's such an interesting story here in Genesis 43 where Joseph is about to reveal himself to his brothers. But before he does, he gives them this test, this opportunity. And I don't know what your day holds for you. I don't know what God has on your agenda for today. But I know there'll be opportunities to be gracious and kind and godly. And I want to encourage you. Pass the test. Go for it today. Do the right thing the first time. Because truly, as you follow the Lord, as you just simply trust Him and obey Him, there's no greater blessing than just walking with Him and passing those tests He brings your way to become more like Him with everyone around you.